Hello, it's Miss Shauna. I'm coming to you from my backyard and I'm here today to share with you some clay activities you can do at home. So today we're going to start talking about the four clay basics. This will get us started off. And I'm here today with my wonderful helpers. I have Lucas. Say hi, Lucas. Hi. <laughs> hi, Paloma. Hello. There. Oh, we're up. <laughs> Maya. And Charlotte is holding the camera. Yeah. Here, give it to me. There's Charlotte. All right. So today we're going to teach you the four clay basics. And with that, we have our clay table that we've set up outside. And it's very easy to make a clay table. It is a piece of plywood with a canvas from like the paint section of Home Depot or Lowe's stretched over it and staple gunned on the back. These are really inexpensive to make. Clay itself is very inexpensive to buy. Uh, we buy our clay at Pinnacle from a place called Marjon Ceramics. That's M-A-R-J-O-N. I called them this morning and they are open with limited hours through all of this um, home school closure stuff so if you wanted to go pick up clay it is cheap it is malleable it is fun for all different levels of ability for little bitty kids for older children these guys can't get enough of it um, it also really really uses your large muscles and your small muscles so for kids who are struggling with not being in sports or whatever you can just attack that clay and have a whole lot of fun with it and it's very forgiving so today these guys are gonna show you the four clay basics. With these clay basics, you can pretty much create anything you want. Lucas, what are you showing us today? Slab. All right, don't hold back. Lucas is gonna show us a slab. You get a ball of clay, he's flattening it. So it is a slab, ready to basically serve as the base for anything your imagination can think of. Flattening it. Very nice slab work. Charlotte is going to show us how to make a coil. Okay. Coil is another fancy clay term for snake. And while she's rolling out her coil, Paloma is going to show us how to make a what? Ball. Ball. Go ahead, Paloma. And while she's working on the ball, Maya is going to teach us how to make a uh, pinch pot. A pinch pot. All right, so we got the slab going again. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the coil forming. Let's roll the ball around in our hands. So once you made a ball for a pinch pot, you're going to stick your thumb in the middle, push it down, and then you're going to pinch the sides, and that's why it's called a pinch pot. Once you've learned these four clay basics, you can make just about anything you'd like. Yesterday, with the clay basic knowledge they learned, they made a birdhouse out of slabs, a snowman with balls and coils, and a whole variety of pinch pots, and of course, Bob, the stone giant. The stone giant. All right, and that is your four clay basics lesson for today. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.